Okay, you guys, so things are getting even uglier between Megan Thee Stallion and her label. Now, if you guys are not aware, the owner of her label, 1501, called Crawford and Megan Thee Stallion do not see eye to eye. They have had disputes in the past because of money and different things of that nature. Well, in October of last year, Megan dropped something for the hotties. Now, this included 21 tracks, and Megan was under the impression that this was the last album that she had to drop in order to fulfill her contract with 1501 and be over and done. Now, just to be clear, the album that she dropped, she calls a mixtape, but she actually sued Carl Crawford and the label in February in order to declare that that actually counts as an album and that her contract with 1501 certified is fulfilled. But the owner of 1501, Carl Crawford, said not so fast. He's actually suing Megan and taking her to court. He says this last album does not count and she still owes him another album. So when Meg found out, that this man was actually trying to sue her she went on twitter and went off she said first the man over my label said i don't make him any money now he's counter suing trying to keep me on his label because he wants to make more money lol if i ain't making you no money why not just drop me my lawyers asked him for an expense report money 1501 supposedly has spent on me while this grown A man put his jewelry and chains on there, Lord, free me from this joke A label. I choose not to say nothing back about court and address the issue online, but I'm getting tired of being painted the bad guy 24-7. The last girl on 1501 mad at this man too. Carl, I don't want to be signed to your pill popping A. You talk about I ain't paid for a show and you sound slow. I'm the artist. I don't pay you directly. Maybe fight with the man you signed to and you might see some money, you effing powderhead. You hiding behind Jay Prince. Also, how can I owe you any of my money outside of music when your team can't even provide actual statements of what I owe? You also haven't paid me since 2019. Your team signed off on something for the hotties to count as an album. Now it's not jokes bye i'm not speaking to nobody else on here see y'all in court now when carl crawford saw what megan wrote on twitter this is what he had to say hey y'all believe that bs all y'all want to i don't got twitter fingers so i'm not about to type ish all day but i promise everything said about me about that matter is a lie the truth will be out soon enough defamation claim on the way this all coming from a bona fide alcoholic who effed the whole industry, including her best friend, in. Now, I know you guys know that he's talking about Megan allegedly sleeping with Tori, who was allegedly with her best friend, Kelsey. So as y'all can see, things are getting really ugly between these two. They are going below the belt with the shade that they are throwing at each other. But I want to know how you guys feel about all of this. Now, in the past, Megan has, if I'm not mistaken, won every lawsuit against 1501 so far. So I don't know if they're going to pull this one through. We got to see. Of course, time will tell. But I want to know how you guys feel about this whole thing. So leave your comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.